paddle board. Set it in the water and get some footage put in it. What a dippy dude, how you doing back there? Good. <laughs> Ready to look at me and to turn? Mm-hmm. Find it up here. To turn, you just give this a squeeze or this a squeeze. You don't try and turn like this. Okay. You just squeeze. Up in, dude. You want more riding? Maggie, you want to, you want to swim for a while? Metal detect or ride this? Okay. okay. Let's ask dude what he wants. I'm going to jump right out. Go ahead. Go ahead, jump out. Upside down. Woo! Dad, Jerome, he was upside down. Bam! Nice and cold, huh? Swim on in a little bit. Jerome, see, he's an upside down duck because he's trying to swim underneath the water with his life jacket on. Can you touch here, Maggie? What? Can you touch here? No, that way, no connecting way. Okay, you're going to get a ride? All right, hold on. All right, so we just changed. I got out of my swimming suit. We were actually coming up the steps here on the lake and there's a bunch of wild raspberries. So we're gonna go check those out, right kids? Yeah! Oh, wild. I found a secret spot of black raspberries here. Hundreds of them. Maggie, do you got a handful to show me? Looking up from the ground. You're just going straight in, yep. one at a time? Oh. Just double fisting them? <laughs> Ready, set. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna do some walleye fishing today. We're back in South Dakota. The walleyes are biting. Victor, my brother in law, is here. My dad's actually here. He's just leaving the lake. They did really well. Secret lake. Victor <laughs> discovered this. It's awesome. I've never fished here before, but we're gonna try it out. And not only just try it out, I'm gonna try it on the fly rod today. So I've got my fly rod, I've got a clouser minnow and apparently they're in pretty shallow. I'm gonna be using my foot pedal board. First time ever walleye fishing with that. First time ever walleye fishing with a fly rod. Let's see if we can get the job done. Now out here in South Dakota, these lakes, they've basically formed out of almost thin air because it's just been raining and raining and raining and they don't flood out with the rivers. They don't wash out. So there's a lot of like flood lakes around here and they've stocked walleyes in a ton of them. I mean, there's like hundreds of them, don't you say Vic? Pretty close, yeah. So yeah. there's this crazy opportunity. This year happens to be really dry though, so the water's really low. So to get out here, I think the paddle board is an awesome option. Victor's got his, what he got the John, John boat. boat today. Yep. So let's get on the water. Here's the fly rod. Let me just show you the clouser minnow I'm gonna be using. Uh, it's a, just a totally artificial fly. Um, it's got a little weight on the front end and some feathers and the hook's kind of hidden in there. Walleyes like some scent, but I think I can catch one with complete artificial lures. We'll find out.
What's that? Yeah, I know. I'm just going to go right up to him. My dad just left from here with my brother and a couple kids. A couple of my brother's kids. And it's not really a place where you can put your boat in, but they did it anyways. They kind of forced the issue through the mud there. Risky, but it worked for them. So anyway, <sighs> boy, these weeds are slow going. But they did really well tonight, but <clears throat> they did really well this evening, but I think we're gonna do even better because uh, <clears throat> walleyes will move up shallower in the evening. <laughs> And I need shallow water for this fly fishing. So those, for those of you who are interested, I'm fishing a fly, a five weight fly rod. It's obviously my trout fishing rod. Pretty lightweight, but it should be fun. I've got floating fly line and an eight pound test fluorocarbon leader. I hear there's a lot of pike in here. In fact, Tim just got off the lake with four of them. Tim and my dad and their kid and the kids there. Four pike and I think they caught like 10 walleyes. So I'm assuming I'm gonna get bit off a few times by pike. Their teeth are so sharp they'll bite the line, but if I'm lucky I'll catch my first pike ever on a fly rod as well as my first walleye ever on a fly rod. Boy, pushing through these weeds is hard. Yeah, boy. One of the most important things with foot pedal board fishing, in my opinion, is having an anchor. You gotta anchor, this thing blows so fast, even though there's barely any wind. So, I just pulled out mine. Yeah. Oh. Is that what you, you guys used to do, Grandpa, is fish like that? Fish like lakes like that where you just put in the boat in the There we go. Little one, but fish. <clears throat> oh, it's not so little. All right. Oh yeah, this is a fighter, huh? What do we got? Oh, it's a pike. First pike ever on a fly rod. Are you kidding me? Hey Vic, I got a pike. Whoa, he jumped right off. Had a pike. Jumped right off. Yeah, <laughs> Vic says perfect release. First pike on a fly rod, but he popped off when I was trying to get him in the net. You probably saw it, but I lunged the net forward. He jumped right over the net and off. But hey, it's a fish.
Say hey, fish on, dude. Are you serious? I don't know, let's find out. Oh, it's it's a big perch. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> That's a first perch on a big perch on a fly rod. I suppose maybe I've caught little ones. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Nothing too crazy. First perch ever on a fly rod. Caught sunnies before just messing around. Boy, that's a nice one though. You could eat that. I'm pretty far left of you. I'm like over here, is that safe? Oh yeah. Okay, because I let her sink for quite a while before I start moving it. Oh, that's good, Beckett. That's what we needed. Yeah. That's sweet. What do you get? What do you got there? Like 18 incher? Yeah. Hey, 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 there's a bite. <laughs> Right at the boat, man. This one's got some heft to it. Oh, baby. It looked like a, oh, dude, that's a big walleye. Oh my gosh. Dude, get me the net. This thing, whoa, dude, this is like a 24 incher. Oh, man. Dude. Oh, I hope he doesn't break me off here. I'm hand lining him at this point. Whoa, dude. Gee, look at this, dude. <laughs> What? What? Are you kidding? Dude! <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my gosh. On the fly, first walleye. Dude, what do you think, man? That's 23, 24 incher. You got, well, you got to measure this horse. Oh, my leader is a little bit too long. So I had to like hand line him because I couldn't net him, you know? Dude, what? What? <laughs> Look at that with the sunshine. What a beast. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm like shaking. <laughs> First one ever turns into a giant. Have you got him this big on this lake? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, dude. This is a beefy walleye. It's it's not even that old. It's just really thick. Right. Like right down to the tail, it's like thick. Oh yeah, I'm guessing 24, dude. Let's see what what do you think? 22. 22? It could be. It's so thick, man. The thick ones always get me. Yeah, they're thick. Plus on the fly rod, man, I was like <laughs> way. I'm way over gunned with this thing. Okay. You got in front of this? Yeah. Yeah, you're good. You can get it this way, I got you. There's a measuring thing right there. Perfect. He might be 24 actually. Shotty, look at that. Alright, let's find out. What do we got here? It, what are these? It's at 20 and then you'll 20, have to okay. Go. Oh yeah, dude, that's oof, I'm gonna lose them. 21, 22, 21, 22, 23, 20. Three and, and yeah, that was a little past 23. You want to keep going? Yeah, dude. Yeah. As long as we're right here next to each other. Can we just pitch them up to you or is that going to be... <laughs> yeah, dude, Look at that beefy walleye, dude. Look at that, buddy. <laughs> what? On the fly rod. Is that fun, what? Holy yeah, he's still got some energy, man. I got him when he was a little green. And Brought him in quick. Here's the perch too, Beckett. You want to toss that to me, Beckett? <laughs> Vic, yes. fly rod walleye, dude. <laughs> Thanks, Second fish today. 23 incher.
Good. That's what I like to hear. This is a good time of day to catch big ones, Beckett. It's when the bigs move in. The biggest ones. Dude, I might have made a mistake cutting that leader down. I don't think that's going to be the issue. Because I cut like two feet off of there. And now it's not sinking as much, I don't think, you know? Okay. I mean, like from here to there is like for heaven. I yeah. But I, I, haven't got, I haven't gotten a single tap since I got my leader cut. And then before I was getting bites and catching them obviously on pretty much every cast right. so that's kind of strange Holy mackerel. I wanted to close out this video, but these guys got so many fish, it's worth closing on these fish. This is that 23 incher caught on the fly rod. Victor got some nice perch. That's he nice picked wall. up his limit of eight walleyes. Yep. Beautiful time in Beckett. Caught a whole bunch of them here. How old are you, Beckett? How old are you, buddy? Four. <laughs> four, he's four. Yeah, four so. months is that, buddy. He had a blast. It, it's pretty obvious. Just like spear fishing, fly fishing is definitely not as effective, <laughs> but it was fun. Thanks for watching.